Hello Intune friends, in this video we're not going to do anything related to Intune, we're going to install Oracle Java 8 and we're going to show two different ways to install, one my favorite, Winget, and one we're just going to download the normal installer and install it. So we're not going to package it, we're going to do that in a later video. In the previous video we made the certain URL start in IE mode, why? Because Java can only be loaded in the web browser uh, if you are in Internet Explorer and use ActiveX. Let's start to install. I start with my uh, favorite way. So this machine doesn't have Java. This test page says micro <laughs> Mozilla Firefox is recommended. Not really, because that's up to our of the version 53. So it's actually Internet Explorer. But we need Java runtime environment. So let's install that. So I'm just doing a normal CMD. Could do a terminal, but I run it as an administrator. So if we're going to install it with the Winget, I'll go up one here and clear. I'll make this one a bit bigger. Let's see properties. Uh, we can just do the font a little bigger. Uh, 28. Yep, I like it. Then our Winget, and since I'm as a user, I can uh, put just Winget. I don't need to put the path. Let's um, search for the ID of uh, Oracle Java. See how many different there are. Okay. Sorry for moving this around. Then the ID to install is going to be this one. I'm going to save this into um, a Notepad++ or something because we're going to need all these uh, values. So we know already that the ID is this. Perfect. I'll just save it to there. I'm going to put it back here. Okay. Then, if we want to install, we can put winget install. And we're going to get all the parameters. So let's see which ones we want. I'm going to change the font size back a bit. I see it's nearly harder to read now. Let's see 24. Mm. A little bit more. Sorry, it's going to be back to 20. Maybe if I do this one bigger. Yeah, I prefer this look. So here are all the parameters to install. So the ID we already have. We will actually add also dash E or dash dash exact. So let's do that. So I'm going to put the, the ID we have, I would like also the dash E. So we do know already it's going to be winget.exe install. Then we want dash E. Why dash E? Because we want the exact ID, not similar. So we took E exact. Version, we go with the latest. Scope, it's default going to be machine for this one, so we don't need that. We want it silent, so we can do dash H or dash dash silent. For some reason, I always prefer dash uh, dash silent. Perfect. Uh, to spice things up, let's do architecture. Let's by default it's going to probably install 64-bit, which I usually prefer. I'm going to go with the x86, which is 32-bit. It's going to work fine. Then we had silent. We don't need any log, which could be nice. We, however, need this to be totally silent, except package agreements. I copy that one, put that at the end. See if that. Go a bit too long. I'll space this one. And we also want accept source agreement. If you don't put these switches, you could be asked for yes or no. And since we want to script this at a later stage, we want it totally, totally silent. But for now, let's copy this one and see if this one works. I'm going to clear the screen again. CLS. I paste this one. So what do we got here? Let a little recap. So we have Winget, then we have install. And Winget I have done a lot of videos about. It's a command line who go and get the installation from the internet. And then dash E because we want the exact ID of Oracle Java runtime. Perfect. We searched that. We want it silent. We want it 32-bit. And we want to accept. Let's hit this and see if it works. Should work. Perfect. 
You see this URL? We can copy that one and use if we want to install uh, in a different way also. Let's uh, look the um, program and features. That's another way to look right. Add remove programs. Let's see if we got any. Yep, we got Oracle here. I saw it. So perfect. We have installed the latest version of uh, Java 8. Um, one thing very important to mention here, this application is licensed by its owner. So just because you can download it and install it like that doesn't mean that you have a license. And since April 2019, you actually need a license if you're, not if you're using it for commercial use. So if you are in an enterprise, and you're installing this version and you should install the latest for security reason verify you have a license to use it so that was one way let's i'll just want to see because oh it's not oracle i should type java then you can see that it's installed let's uninstall it and show uh, if you are not the winget um, fan like me then there are other way to uh, um, install java i'm just gonna uninstall it so we see that it works. You need to in download and you can search to download the uh, MSI or it's actually not an MSI. Uh, and you need to log in if you want the later version. Uh, I'm going to give a URL the same as you saw Winget sort of used, a bundle that can download it. And I'll do that in Edge too. So this is the second way to install it. It's to actually take the file. So we are downloading this uh, the same version. Same, needs license. Okay, let's run this installer. But this is not the way I want to install it. It's just to capture some files. So we click install. So now we're installing Java again. And it's still installing. So don't click close here. Before clicking close, we're going to try to capture some um, uh, IE files. So they should be under percent, app data percent. Not exactly what I wanted. I don't want under roaming. Actually, there is a sun folder. It should be under local low. You see here it's Oracle. It's confusing. You have Sun and Oracle. Sun sort of invented Java and then Oracle bought Sun. So after a while it was always called Sun Java and then Oracle Java. But under Oracle here, and the reason why I don't want to close this window is because sometimes after you close, you it remove these files here. And this is the file we want. This is uh, Java, uh, the version we want. So I'm going to copy this one. And then we're going to use that if we want to do a Win32 app in the future. So I'll uh, see what we where we can put this one. I'll create a new folder. Uh, Control Shift N. If you want a shortcut, um, well, I'll just call it Java for now. So in the future video when we package, we have the file. Right now, we're just going to use this one. So now, again, we have Java, but that was not the way I wanted to install it. So we're going to uninstall it again. This computer probably wondering, hey, do you want Java or not? And the answer is we want it. But I wanted to show two different ways of installing. Well, technically, it's three different ways, right? But if you want to upload to Intune, this is one way. Okay, so we have our CMD already, who started as administrator, very important. And then let's try a log. My excuses, I lost the video for this part, but you basically do MSI exec forward slash I for install, then the path to the MSI file, then you do forward slash QN, Q for quiet, N for no do it, and then we do forward slash no restart, which usually is not needed, but just to ensure that it doesn't restart. Okay, the video continued. So this was uh, two ways to install Oracle, nearly two. One with Winget, my preferable, and if you didn't follow all the switches, I have a lot of videos show explaining that better. Then we have the MSI, 
the one we have here now that uh, you can package as a Win32 app easily also in Intune. So now we have Java installed. So if we go back to our test page here, nope, here, it actually won't the uh, Java in here. So if we reload this one now, it's going to look a bit different. So we're going to say, hey, well, uh, let's allow this. So here, if we see a happy face here, but then here comes next problem. This is blocked by Java security. So we have Java, we have IE mode, we have advanced, but we need to do more for this to run. For example, it needs to be part of the exception uh, site list. So that's going to be the next video we're going to look at. Thank you very much for following along this video. In the next one, we will look at exception sites and add this URL to allow this one to uh, run. Thank you very much.